Alien blood, pickled burps, and what in the world does a brain aneurysm feel like? Today, I'm answering what I'm told are some of the strangest medical questions on the internet. All right, let's dive right in. Why do my burps taste like pickles when I didn't eat pickles? I mean, we all have different smelling and tasting burps. <laughs> It's all related to the foods that we eat. These type of burps literally can be caused by so many different things. Common things would be stress, irritable bowel syndrome, reflux, or we call it GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease. Cruciferous type foods like uh, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts can cause this. Same with processed food, beer. Woohoo! And then you can have like dairy products and garlic. All these different things can mess with your bacteria. You can have more sulfur type smelly rotten burps. So the best thing you could do is start a journal or notice like what foods make you more gaseous and more smelly. There's a couple home remedies out there that you can actually try. Tea is really good. Green teas or peppermint or chamomile tea. Drinking lots of water, which is always important anyway. Is the RH negative blood type alien blood. Okay. Well, we have different types of blood types. We have A, B, O. You pair that with a positive or a negative. So there are also some rare blood types like myself that are a combo of A and B. So say you're a blood type O. That means you are O, O. Then you can be positive or negative relating to the RH. It has to do with the type of surface protein. And so our bodies can make antibodies against these. So if you are in RH positive blood type, that means your blood type already has the RH protein. And so what happens is when you get blood, say from somebody else that has RH positive protein, you're not gonna attack it and see that it is abnormal or foreign. Versus if you have RH negative blood and you get RH positive blood from somebody else in a blood transfusion, your body sees that as foreign and it's going to attack it. So is RH negative blood alien? Not that I'm aware of, but think about it this way. So if you are an RH negative individual, you see the positive blood types as alien to you. What does a brain aneurysm feel like? Well, I hope nobody out there ever feels what a brain aneurysm feels like, but typically most people initially don't feel the brain aneurysm. That's why bad things happen with these. An aneurysm in itself is like a bubbling and weakening of a vessel, okay? A, a blood vessel. And what ends up happening is the pain could kind of come if say your blood pressure goes up and there's a little bit more pressure in that bubble spot and pushing on different nerves in the area. Might give you a warning sign, but typically when they rupture is when there's extreme horrible pain. It is the worst headache of your life. Usually it's a thunderclap headache, meaning Bam! It happens all at once, okay? Horrible, you can get a stiff neck, blurry vision, dilated pupil, weakness, sweating, stroke-like symptoms where depending on where it ruptures in your brain, you can have a weakness or paralysis of a limb or inability to walk or even speak. So it just depends. So if you have a sudden onset, the worst headache of your life, please, please go to the hospital immediately. There are things that we can actually do quickly to get the bleeding to stop as well as prevent it from happening in the future. How many carrots do I have to eat before I turn orange? Great question. So it's because of the beta carotene that's in the orange. It's good for vitamin A, but eating too much could turn your skin a little hue over a long period of time. Watch out, Doc. Typically, you need anywhere between like 20 to 50 milligrams of beta carotene in your system to have a little bit of skin color change. A carrot has anywhere between two and four milligrams of beta carotene. So if you're eating about 10 carrots a day for weeks on end, then there's a possibility that you're gonna get a little hue. Other foods also have this, like sweet potatoes or pumpkin, so it's something to be aware of. It's not gonna make you super visually acute. It's a good source of vitamin A. Do babies poop in the womb? Great question. Typically they do not. The physiology that goes on for creating a baby and all the mechanisms super cool because even the heart isn't beating the way that it would normally beat uh, in the sense of it. Obviously it's beating appropriately, but you're not having the normal blood flow because you're getting blood through your umbilical cord, through the umbilicus. The baby is not supposed to be pooping in the amniotic fluid, but it 
it does happen every now and then. It's actually called meconium. Sometimes a baby could have this type of bowel movement as they're being delivered or just before due to other effects. And yes, it can cause a type of pneumonitis and inflammation of the lungs if it is inhaled. Why does it feel so hot out at 90 degrees, but yet our bodies are say like 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit? It's so hot right now. 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit is the same as 37 degrees Celsius. As humans, we have different ways to cool ourselves. The most important factor of that, besides our ability to sweat, to breathe out hot air, allow the heat to radiate off, is the environment around us. So we need a temperature gradient. So if it's say 60 degrees out and we're warming up, we can actually release some of that into the environment and it flows a lot easier to get our bodies to cool down versus if it's 90 degrees or 100 degrees, we can't expel the heat because the heat is the same. So there's no temperature gradient. And it also has to do with the humidity of the air as well, because we have mechanisms related to sweating to cool us down. But if it's so humid, we just start sweating so much and we can't get it to evaporate off of us to allow it. My tongue turned black. What the heck? Okay. So a tongue turning black is most likely related to medication. It also could be related to hygiene, okay? So a very, very common medication that causes this is Pepto-Bismol. There's a reaction that occurs that it actually changes your tongue black and also your poop will actually be black. So black poop to me as an ER doctor means two things. It either means blood that's been digested or it means that you had medication that changed the color. So it more likely that it's medication is quite common for this to happen. You could have black hairy tongue and that typically is related to like poor hygiene and even diabetes so just something to be aware of if you start noticing that your tongue is black and you're not taking any medications definitely get checked out by your doctor get your blood sugar checked and make sure you have good oral hygiene what's the quickest way to get rid of a boner medically speaking erections occur all the time in males okay and so it can happen on its own when you're touched in a specific way or thinking about things and even having what we call nocturnal erections and typically has to do with hormones and blood flow so different ways to get rid of them okay think about something else try cooling off trying to do different activities you can do breathing techniques and meditative processes to kind of focus your attention to that area versus your erection. And then you can also change positions. I mean, who hasn't been in a situation where you have that unexpected erection and then you have to stand up and go do something? What do you do? It happens to everybody. It's okay. It's a fact of life. Why do I poop so much when I'm hungover? It typically is because alcohol just messes with our body so much. It's causing inflammation. It doesn't allow the normal processes to occur. And what typically happens is it has to do with peristalsis and colon and things are moving a little bit faster. And so typically what ends up happening in the colon, that's where you're absorbing a lot of the fluid. The small intestines, you're absorbing a lot of nutrients. There's some nutrient absorption in the colon, but a lot of it has to do with the water absorption. But because things are moving so fast, it just flows out and there's literally a term that's called the beer and it's basically because it's just more diarrheal super soft poops because you don't have enough time to absorb the fluids to compact it down to a normal robust poop also check out my new supplement company called life happens okay that does it for answering your what some might deem as strange but i think they're really thought-provoking questions is there anything i didn't answer that you are curious about let me know in the comments or reach out to me on my contact form maybe I'll make a part two of this video. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you binge watch this entire playlist right here and smack that subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.